Okay, this is the second part of our LPIC about fundamentals of network. You should have seen the previous video. These are connected, not completely different things. You saw that we have IPs like this in our home. 192.168.1.1 on my router and 192.168.1.10 on my laptop. 192.168.1.11 on my mobile phone, 12, 12 on my laptop, another laptop, 13 on my fridge, and other IPs in my home. How do the router or my modem knows that these are the IPs in my network? And if someone wants to speak with 10, 11, 12, 13, it should be routed to another private network. It's a private IP. Or if someone is going to talk with 193, 11, 100, it should be routed to the internet, another network. How this is decided? This is decided by another piece of information. I'm sure you have configured IP on your some of your devices. Whenever you get a new device, if you want to manually configure an IP address on it, you say 192.168.100 is my IP address, and you add 255.255.255.0 as your net mask. This is where you are telling your device who is in your network and who is not. 255 is 111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111
because this is zero so you have eight zeros here these eight bits can change so your computer will know that 10 0 0 12 is in the same network but 10 0 1 12 is not because this is equal 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 and here is one so it's not in my network this network part should remain unchanged this host part can change this is the concept of the net mask because writing this 255255550 is difficult i don't know how this is difficult but network people are lazy i believe at least from this specific one although they work overnight they are not lazy sorry but because writing this is difficult for non-lazy people there is another notation for this they say okay here i have eight bits of zero because this is one 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 eight one 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 eight one 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 eight zero 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 eight zeros binary representation instead of writing this you can say slash 24 24 ones this is another notation for talking about net masks uh this is called cidr notation classless interdomain routing i have a small table here for your further understand if your net mask is 255 zero 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 practically your net mask in binary is one 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 and all other zero so if my ip address is five two eleven hundred whoever is in five will be in my network because these are all one so only the first octet should remain unchanged it's very 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 unlikely to have a network like this this is very very unusual the problem is if someone says who is in my network i'm looking for time every single server will answer back as long as the first part is five this is super huge you can calculate two five six multiplied by two five five six multiplied by two five six this is huge all the servers are in the network they should get this packet they should answer back if they want no one configures a network like this unless for very specific reason but the cidr notation will be slash eight because you have eight ones this is another method and this is what we mostly see if you want to have only five servers which see each other your network admin might assign you a slash for example 29 subnet so this will be this for example just a guess and instead of this you will for example have 200 blah blah 32 i'm not sure i cannot calculate at the moment i will show you how you should do. so it's not abnormal to have other numbers here like slash 13 or slash 32 which shows only one computer no networking because all of these are one and whoever has anything else other than my exact IP address is not in my network. This is called subnetting. Might be a little bit confusing. Study CCNA if you are interested. Study Network Plus. Search for videos about subnetting, about IPs, and learn more. Although I believe I described it fairly good. But if it's completely new to you, it might be a little bit confusing. And good news is this is not what we are doing. As system admins, we get this information from our network admins. They say, okay, you have five servers. Please set these IPs on them and set their uh, network net mask on this. Or they may say, set their net mask on this. Or they say, this is your IP address. Set them on So I will know that, okay, slash bistochar slash 24 sorry i told it in my own language is cidr notation for this 
So I can use 192.168.22, whatever I want, because I have all this range. Easy enough. And you can find lots and lots of online sites to do this conversion. Two more things. Uh, one is the network address, another one is broadcast address. If you have a combination of IP and NetMask, this is what we always have. If you do a logical AND between the IP address and the network mask, you will reach your network address. So you will have whatever in your IP as long as these are one. And you will have zero for all of these because all of these are zero. So if you have this, your network address will be 192.168.4.0 because you are adding this and this, these and these. And there is another IP which is broadcast IP. It is calculated by the same logic, but you are oring this part or this with this. So this will be 255. Give me a minute, I need my battery. To the rescue. Okay. So. Yes, I was talking about the broadcast address. To calculate the broadcast broadcast address, take this and or these with these. So everything will become one. This will be my broadcast address. If you send a package to this address, every single computer in your network will get it. Still, we don't need to go to the details. I will talk a little bit about binary to decimal conversion, at least how I do it. So you will have an idea and you can practice. It's good to be able to do this. When talking about 8 bits, it's like this. Bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, bit 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Because we started from 0. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. This is a mathematical thing. x to the power of 0 is 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 to the, two to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 16, 32, 64 and 128. It's enough to know these numbers. And normally we know as a common sense, as a computer hacker. For example, I want to convert this, just a random number, uh, 411. If I wanted to convert this to the decimal, I would go, okay, this is value of this point is 1 to 8 and we have it as 1. So 1 to 8 plus. This is 0. This is 0. This is 16. This is 0. This is 0. This is 2. And this is 1. Same places here. Practically, I wrote it like this. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So I just added this with this, with this, with this. How this will work? This and this will be 17. This and this will be 130. So the total will be 147. Cool. If I wanted to convert back from 147, I would say, okay, I have 147. 1 to 8, I can subtract. So I say 1 to 8, the remaining will be 19. Okay, so let me do it here. 1 for 7. 1 to 8, okay, I can subtract. So this is 1. I had this. 19. 16, uh, 64, I can't. It's larger. 32, it's larger, I, I can't. 
16, I can subtract. So this is 1. That would be 3. This is 0 because it's larger. This is 0. 2, I can. So 2 will be 1. And 1 still I can. So this is the decimal representation. I can do this kind of in my mind. I used to be able to do. Now I'm much, much older. And I, have, I haven't needed to do this in my mind for long, long, long times. When I was a teenager, I used to do this when I was walking to become a super hacker. And even the hexadecimal, I were able to do the conversion. No need anymore. But in case in the middle of an exam you need it, this is my method of doing it very easily. You can also search for videos, do these conversions. Let's go to the last video and talk about communication protocols.